Hi, it's me, George. Uh, what are you doing over there, you ask? I'm just coming in from the side, man. <laughs> I was recently subject to critique after a short performance, which usually I wouldn't welcome, as the feedback is usually pop your trousers on and leave. But when the side men come calling, you can't say no. Have you thought about clicking the subscribe button? Maybe smash it if you're feeling devilish. Right next door to 200k. And like the video. If this video gets an amount of likes, I'll be happy. Carry on with the video. I thought I'd give a little reaction slash analysis of my performance. Sort of tell you what was going on behind the face. Because it's not just a big nose and incredibly well-trimmed eyebrows. There is a man beneath it. This is Simon's Got Talent. No, they don't. <laughs> that was a joke that actually got cut. Uh... <laughs> It should have this time. So yeah, Vic randomly messaged me on Twitter and said, Yeah man, you got any talent? And I said, <laughs> Clearly not a fan of the videos, otherwise it'd be abundantly clear that I don't. It's sort of like when somebody says, What are your hobbies? What do you do? And you sort of question yourself, What do I actually do with my life? I just sort of fondled with myself, and that is not a talent, trust me, especially the way I do it. A lot of friction burn. But I decided to go with impressions because people say that they're all right. I feel like people say that I'm good at impressions in the sort of way that an X Factor candidate's mum would, you know, like, oh, you're great at singing, they go on, they sound like a strangled dog of some sort. We're here with Jorge. There I am. Jorge. Immediately, Jorge. That'll help people find my channel, Simon. Thanks very much. Big moment, Jorge. Where's Jorge? People are just gonna go subscribe to some weird Spanish YouTuber. Ooh, hate the Spanish. Jorge. Jorge Clarky. That's me. Is it all Clarky, but Spanish? Jorge Clarky. Clarky Amos, I believe. Is <laughs> Jorge Clarky Amos. Remember George Clarky. Yeah. Just shut me up. Clark Gavos. <laughs> yeah, it's George Clarky, all right? No, this is the sort of awkward dance that we have between the Ant and Deck types. They uh, actually, <laughs> a lot of the acts on here I've seen, I haven't actually watched the whole video yet. I just skipped to my part for the narcissist that I am. But I've seen on other people's that they had the interview at the end still in. Um, I did get interviewed at the end. I did my Winnie the Pooh impression, which I shall do later for you. Stay tuned for that. It's all about retention. I know everything about YouTube. <laughs> I think the reason they cut my interview at the end was because I likened them to to Anton Deck, uh, and then I asked which one the designated driver was. <laughs> which they both laughed at, uh, but I can imagine that, you know, try and keep relationships well with ITV. Uh, one of them is probably rather fond of their runner. That's a bad allegation, though. No, I'm sure you don't. What are you doing for us today? Not anything particularly impressive. Okay. It's an attempt at impressions. There you go, say yourself, George. Off the bat, nobody's interested. And um, I emphasize attempt, because that's all it will be. I'm not sounding very confident. Yeah, thanks, Josh. <laughs> I like how little input they both had on everything I just said. Why have we even got this guy on? I might put this as my text alert. Oh, I know you. <laughs> I believe they call that in the biz a bazinga. Ethan knows me. Hello, all. How are we? It's What's your name? It's nice, isn't it? Really nice and welcoming. Uh, Speak George, up! George Clarkey. Yeah. Woo! Oh, thank you. Hello. Don't know what I would have done if nobody clapped then. Honestly, I... <laughs> what are you doing today? Uh, it's an attempt at impressions. Everyone else getting deja vu right now. Did you not literally just say that, George, to Simon and Josh? Think of something original for once in your life, stupid TikToker. Where are you from? <laughs> Where am I from? Was that racially motivated? What was that about, Toby? Did you ask this to everybody? Just, just so I can be sure, what passport do you have, George? Oh, Toby. Down boy. I don't sound like I'm from Bristol. I sound like I'm a, from a long line of Max Foshes. Who do you live with? Um, I live with the man called I. <laughs> The Arthur Hill has caught some flack here. It's not his fault. In fact, it's a lot of people's dreams. All he's done is lived with me. Who do you live with? Um, I live with the man called Arthur Hill. <laughs> it's unnecessary, isn't it? Look, I get it. Iced coffee is an annoying song. You don't need to buzz him for it. But it wasn't actually for Arthur. <laughs> they thought I was going to say Alex's name first. Um, I thought they'd just pile in with the buzzers. Taking the brunt of the heat there, bless him. But I was teeing up to mention the uh, the rescue animal I have downstairs. I won't even get onto the second <laughs> 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 Giggle from Josh. <laughs> that seemed forced. Mine was for the second one. <laughs> All right. Well, I assumed so, Ethan. <laughs> you barely know Arthur. You've met him like twice, bless him. I just hate the moustache. Let's just, you can start. Okay, sweet. Might I say, love the lack of bandana, JJ. I'm a fandana. Really shows the glyph and I like it. Got any in between us fans in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So you'll know then these go awfully. Um, shout out any scene and I'll be able to do it for you. Um, I'm hearing Will around the dinner table at his birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, the thing is, I, there, I was expecting people to... I've missed a big part here, actually. I didn't just immediately go into doing the impressions, <laughs> which I can understand why they cut it out. I initially started by uh, just basically roasting them. <laughs> 
Simon complimented me on the roast after. He said, why did you stop the roast? That was the best bit. So apparently they've just cut the best bit out. Anyway, so I started off with a little... When Vic initially messaged me saying, have you got any talent? I thought he'd mistaken me for the PE teacher at his local primary school. Just unnecessarily uh, throwing some accusations of Vic Star there. Um, but they had a little giggle. They enjoyed it. But then he went on to explain that the Cybermen were looking for people with talent. Should have tried that 10 years ago, guys. <laughs> Again, they actually giggled. I thought they were going to hate me for that. I thought maybe it all buzzes out at that point and I'd have... You know, uh, gone backstage and sobbed <laughs> into the pit of Mini Minter, but I didn't. I think this is why they cut it, actually. I, I, <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't uh, insult the judges in the first 30 seconds of my performance. Can, uh, can, can, can we restart Countdown? See, JJ, it was that easy. I don't think they really wanted a reference to uh, a recent KSI cancellation. But he, he quite enjoyed it, to be fair. He was, through, a, through a grimace, he smiled. But, you know, maybe it was his sort of decision to just suck a punch, that one. Away from the edit. So the input guys. Nice <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> <laughs> Already a good reaction from JJ. <laughs> he was not enjoying this performance, which I don't blame him. I don't know why Toby was having such a good time. To be honest with you, a lot of effort into this night. Maybe lost cock over. This is embarrassing. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that this is meant to be cool. This piece wasn't meant to be like, oh look at me, look at me. I'm so good at impressions. It was meant to be shit. Um, <laughs> this is, this is bad even for me. Man. Cock of what? Oh, you really don't have- They've saved it with the edit. I did think when I was doing this. Is this gonna look good in an edit? Just a random bloke doing an impression that's vaguely similar to an in-betweener. Oh yes, I see. Very mature. Cock of van. Well, actually means chicken and wine, doesn't it, Patrice? What? Well, it does. Doesn't mean cock up my arm. <laughs> some of these reactions are so good. Ass, or cock on my head, or you got some cock in the back of the van, or I've got some- Bless, Vic doesn't even look like he knows what's going on. It's, it's very lost. It's for the the in between is Vic. It was a famous uh, series on Channel Four back in the day. In the back of the van. Harry looks good. <laughs> Everyone just looks like they're having such an awful time. And look, all I wanted was a civilized and sophisticated. I got to this point and I realised I've been monologuing here for about thirty seconds. Why am I going? Why am I carrying on? First day, just something a bit different from the usual parties. Maybe the sort of party that girls are impressed by. Now, yes, there aren't any girls here. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Why is he here? <laughs> now, yes, there aren't any girls here. It's in flow state. Civilized conversation. Is it, is it even worse that I didn't have to practice this? This was just locked in. For asylum, looking at you. Back in the day, when I started off on TikTok, when I started speaking in my videos, people said I sound like Will, so I was like, oh, sure, I'll just do some impressions. So I learnt this one off by heart, and it's never gone. That's not a flex, is it? That's embarrassing. Jesus Christ. No wonder you're single, George. It's a tall order. I'm not expecting sparkling, but let's give it a go, eh? It is my fucking birthday. <laughs> By the way, that is absolutely accurate of how it... No sound afterwards. <laughs> Not even a giggle. Harry wasn't laughing there. He was just trying to fill silence. Thanks, guys. The crowd I'm goes so wild. <laughs> Let's hear crowd goes wild. <laughs> um. Go, go, giggle, though, right? That's good. <laughs> Did have to <laughs> repeat the joke twice, but they, they got it in the end. <laughs> On the internet now. Brilliant. Uh, there's a relatable one for anyone called Neil here who likes a bit of procrastination. Oh, Neil. Yeah. Alright, I don't need to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Neil. I really think we should be revising. <laughs> I am revising. It's just not great. The Neil's so shit as well. Normally Neil's quite good. Do I try it again? Oh, Neil. I really think we should be revising. I am revising. This is football. That's normally how it should go, I think. I don't know. That's just, that could still sound shit. These aren't meant to be perfect, right? Nobody's perfect. Jake's about tech and design. Put that shelf up earlier, didn't I? <laughs> JJ's face throughout this is hilarious. <laughs> it's such a valid reaction. Why is anyone else laughing? Up earlier, didn't I? Is that part of your exam? Yeah. Well, 50%. How much in between us? Uh, that should get me to. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> right, just shout out some suggestions. I'll do some impromptu. Impersonations. Um, An African scene, Nigerian. I'm hearing Winnie the Pooh doing a mugging. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, I can't do Nigerian, can I? Hearing Winnie the Pooh doing a mugging. <laughs> 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 it's uh, it's going to go awfully. Um, this is so bad, by the way. I did it again backstage in the second interview. Uh, and they cut that as well, obviously. Basically, it goes well 100% of the time, half of the time. I sort of sound like Winnie the Pooh hitting puberty. Give me all your honey. No one has to get hurt. 
which isn't good. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it's shit. But it wasn't meant to just go <gasps> into the mic. Give me all you. Oh, God. This is a subtext. Oh, God. What a poor excuse for a man I am. What the hell is this? Hello, Ethan. How are you? It's not done. I don't want to hear the rest it's of it. It's not done. It's not done. It's still in. Oh, no one. It's not still in. It's done. It's done. It's done. Oh, for the joke at the start, Harry. Oh, look, I'm going to buzz it because you live with I'm Alex. Well, Harry, look, now we've stopped a perfectly good performance. I think everybody was having a great time. We could have carried on. Please, retract it, Harry. George, it's time to leave. George, it's time to leave. You can do one You can do one final one as you before you go. We'll have one more. Oh, I don't whole host of good ones here. I, well, What's what, your best what one? can you do? That's a good question, isn't it? When you've come on trying to display a talent, what can you do? Not even a sort of X Factor. Uh, have you got a second song? It's just a, can you do literally anything else, please? No, not much. I could do chicks in a nest. Yeah. Yeah. Ch chicks in a nest. Whoa. Someone's a rapper. Chicks in a nest. Sure, I'll roll with that. Ch chicks in a nest. Ch chicks in a nest. Yeah, there you go. You can repeat, apparently. Um. <laughs> That's something that I was really upset with. Literally, as soon as I after, oh, as oh my god, as soon as I said you can, you can repeat, apparently, I was like, you can do an impression of a parrot. <laughs> Idiot, George. Such a better joke than you can repeat, apparently. What, what even is that? And I've been thinking about that in bed ever since. I've had the. The big bald head of JJ Latunji in my brain before I've slept, and that's what that explains the bags under my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is your best one oh, yet. Yeah. You start you. with Why that. You start with that. Yeah. Why didn't you start with that? That was actually good. Thank right, hypothetical situation: I walk on stage, say I could do impressions, and then I just go. <laughs> then what? What happens then? I just carry on doing animal impressions. That's weird. I can also do chicks in a nightclub. Oh, George, please give me your number. Oh, please let me come with you, George. <laughs> That's valid. I was expecting them to buzz at that. What a fun little silly goofy joke, eh? Let's go. Security. Let's go. Plenty more. Josh, no, let him keep going. Simon, keep going. We want more. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. We want more. We do Nobody wants more. Nobody wanted any of this. One more. You like that? I can do Harry in a social situation. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's it's my favourite thing. Please do I'm, it. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's just such a shit. Such an easy joke. I'm sorry, Harry. Can I do one more? One oh, final. Oh, oh, oh no, but the prime. It was here for a reason. Oh. Yeah, I did ask that. I had one of the the side men team said, "What do we need?" I said, "A plinth, so I could put my hands and my notes somewhere to make me look less awkward." Uh, that worked really well. Thanks, side men team. And a bottle of Prime for this shit impression at the end. It's, oh, God. It's, and it, they've, what they've cut out, uh, thankfully, oh, this is what I was worried about. So backstage behind the curtain, after the curtains came down, Josh and Simon ran over and were like, quick, go around the side, carry on, carry on. I was like, sure, give me a mic and I'll do it. <laughs> they gave me a mic. And I was like, is it on? And they're like, oh, they'll turn it on as you go out. And I was like, this seems like it could go wrong very easily. But, you know, they're a well-polished machine, the side men. He's, he's a well-polished boy, is Simon. Lucky girl, tell you. But I walked out and I was... <laughs> When, um, I think something must have gone wrong with the curtain. Um, <laughs> they didn't even hear a thing. And then Harry just clocks me and just goes, what was he doing? It, it was really quite awkward, but then they got the mic working again. Shut <laughs> up. Oh, that was actually good, though. That was actually good. <laughs> he lost it. <laughs> Give me an accent. Nigerian. <laughs> I'm here <hearing> Winnie the <laughs> <laughs> If, if Toby wasn't there, I don't, I don't think this would have gone well at all. I mean, it didn't go well. But if Toby wasn't there, this would have been a shit show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, <clears throat> I can also do uh, Bear Grylls try and prime for a YouTube video. As you can see by the, the array of expressions. I don't understand why they looked like they're unhappy, because before they were literally buzzing. <laughs> Anyone? Buzzing? They hit their buzzers. This is a good one. for six days now. <laughs> I'm finally getting to the position where I'd normally be drinking my own piss. <laughs> I think the joke could stop there. You know exactly where it's going. I found a perfect substitute. <laughs> the ancient Aborigines say it tastes just like the real thing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting JJ to like this one. I didn't realise you had the ability to buzz twice, if I'm honest. Um, he said to his overproductive butt plug. Because <laughs> it makes you come after the first buzz. I didn't... Well, that's a bad joke. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so this is where it sort of goes off the rails a bit. It's not great. <laughs> Yeah, that is fucking disgusting. Okay. Yeah, nope. Perfectly. <laughs> I had actually clocked that reaction from JJ. <laughs> That's the exact reaction he gave to the countdown joke. Yeah, no. Nope. Perfectly. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's actually quite nice. Why am I, why am I lying? I don't like the grape flavour. Uh, but the other ones are quite nice. Hang on, that's, that's where it did fit. Fuck off. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! <laughs> sure, I'll see you at judges' houses. Spoiler alert, didn't see them at judges' houses. <clears throat> didn't even get an interview afterwards. Because I made a joke about Anthony McPartlin drunk driving. But there you go. Uh, that was my experience. Would I do it again? <laughs> When they ask me, I will. Look, it wasn't meant to be good. It was meant to sort of enter the shitter. Um, that's why they put it on the Sidemen channel. <laughs> no, thanks to Vic for reaching out and saying, fancy being a part of it. It was a good laugh. That is the BTS. If you're new around here, give us a little subscribe. If you, uh, it'd be very much appreciated. Very close to 200k. I would much appreciate if we could hit that because it's a superficial number that means nothing. Like the video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.